Okay, so let's try this experiment. We got it in the hood right now, and hopefully you can see we've got um, a 50 mil beaker half full of uh, water, and we're gonna put a couple drops of phenolphthalein in there. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up. And then we have a piece of sodium here. And I've got the spatula that I've used. So, the sodium you can see is in this mineral oil. It's the sodium metal here. Then let's just put it in there. And you can see that the phenolphthalein went from clear to pink quite quickly. You can see the reactivity of the sodium metal as well. Remember that sodium is, uh, it's got a valence electron on it, right? And it doesn't like to have that because it wants to be a full octet, you know? So it's going back um, down to the neon electron configuration. So what's happening here is, right, you hear all that bubbling and see the bubbling. What's happening is, does anybody know what's happening? What are we making? What gas? Neon gas. No. no. It's a hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas, right? And so it's making hydrogen gas. And why did it become basic? What would be the other thing that was uh, left in there? Sodium. Sodium. Sodium hydroxide. hydroxide. Yeah, hydroxide. so it would be sodium hydroxide because we're removing the proton from the water. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you look at the, um, the color change of phenolphthalein, right, it went over um, the basic portion. So you can see that it's pink. Okay? Are there any questions about that? No. Okay, cool.